In the previous video, we looked at finding the equation of the line of intersection of two non-parallel planes, and we looked at this example here. Now, the method that I showed you there is a perfectly good method that you can utilize, but I'm going to show you a secondary method now, which uses the vector product. Now, if you haven't met the vector product, uh, don't worry. Um, it appears in different places in different examples specifications. So just double check, you know, where it is. If you want to use the vector product and it's not in uh, your corpure specification, that's perfectly fine. You will not get marked down. You won't lose marks for it. It's a perfectly good way of doing it. Okay. And it's a really useful technique to know. The vector product, what it does is it allows you to find a vector that is perpendicular to two other vectors that you give. Okay, so the idea is that if you've got your two planes and the line of intersection, so if you look at this side on, the line of intersection is coming out of the board, this is in the direction of a vector that is perpendicular to both of those planes. Because the normal vectors of these planes, uh, one's going that way, um, then one's going that way. Oh, that's poor drawing. <laughs> one's going that way. Okay, making right angle there or right angle there. Okay. But either way, um, the direction of the line is coming out of the board, and that's perpendicular to both of them. Okay. So that means that this will allow us to find the direction of, or the direction vector rather, of the line. Okay, so let's do that. So the way that the vector product works is it finds, you find the determinant of the matrix where you have i, j, k in the top row. We're going to have 2, 3, 5. That's the normal vector for the first plane. And 1, minus 1, minus 1 the normal vector for the second plane, and we find the determinant of this matrix. So for i, we're going to have 3 times minus 1, which is minus 3, take away 5 times minus 1. So we've got minus 3 plus 5, so 2 lots of i. Then for j, we're going to have 2 times minus 1, minus 2, take away 5, so minus 7, but because we're working with the middle column here, that's going to be plus 7j. And then for k, we've got 2 times minus 1, it's minus 2, take away 3 times 1. So minus 2, take away 3 is minus 5, so minus 5k. So what this is telling me is that is the direction of the perpendicular line. Of, of the line that is uh, the intersection of our two planes. So we know that that is the direction vector. Oh, plus. So we've got the direction vector of our line, but we don't have the position vector. So what I need is a point that is common to both, both of these planes. Now, we don't immediately have one. So how can we get around that? Well, unless we're going to be very unlucky in our choice, um, we've got two planes here where you can assume, well, um, there is probably going to be a point where z is 0, for example. And now I could do this with x or y, and I could choose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you know, whatever point you want, but 0 is easy to work with. So let's choose z equals 0. So I'm going to find a coordinate with the z coordinate as being 0, with this point being on the two planes, OK? Because it's got to be on the line. Now, as I said, I'd have to be unlucky for this not to work. Um, and the only way that this couldn't work is that the two equations that I end up getting, so 2x plus 3y equals 1, and x take away y equals 2, is if these two lines ended up being parallel to one another. 
in which case I would just choose another value and see how that, that goes. Okay, I might choose uh, y to be 0 instead. Okay, so now I need to solve these two simultaneous equations. Okay, so I'm just going to get my calculator to do that. You can do it algebraically if you like. 2, 3, 1, 1, minus 1, 2. And we get x is 7 fifths and y is minus 3 fifths. So we've got the x, y and z of a point that we know lies on both planes. Okay, now you can double check that if you like, but you know that these solve these two equations when z is zero. Okay, so they, both, they should work in both of those equations, both those planes. So we've got 7 fifths, we've got minus 3 fifths, zero. There's a point on the plane, or a point on the line rather. And so this is the equation of the line of intersection of these two planes. Now you might notice that this looks a little bit different to the answer that we got in the previous video, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, what's different here is uh, you could have a different position vector, you just need a different point that's on the line, that could be any point that's on the line, and the direction vector just needs to be a scalar multiple of the other one. Okay, so uh, they may well look different, but they are the, describing the same line.